Here I am on macOS Monterey. I installed it. If you don't know how to download it and install it, go check out this other video real quick. But in this video, what I'm doing is I'm comparing the executables between macOS Big Sur 11.4 and macOS Monterey 12.0. I want to see if there's anything new and fun that we can play with as a geek you know, I like to do a lot in the command line. So I go and I search and do these comparisons and I get to see all the new commands. So what I've done is I've written this script right here. And you can just take a quick snapshot of this and maybe even use that new live text to convert it uh, so you don't have to retype it. But if you want to do the same type of thing. So basically all I'm doing is I'm going through these four folders, user bin, user s bin, s bin, and bin, and I'm comparing them between each of the OSs. So 12.0 and 11.4. So I'm going to compare these. So I've already gotten, and it shows all the commands that are in there. So now we're going to run a, a diff and we're going to open up a terminal. If you don't know where the terminal is, just do a command space bar, type in terminal, and hit return, and that will open it. So what we're going to do here is we are going to do vim diff, and I'm just going to drag that one on there, and then that's the one I want to compare. And we're going to hit return. Okay. And we're going to look, and there is nothing different between those files. All right, so now we're going to compare the next one. Let's see. And do sbin. sbin. Hit return. All right, so we've got this mount lifs. So I'm going to bring this over to my little list here. Make a note on that. Looks like they removed a command here. And now we are going to compare these other ones. All right, here's where the fun starts. All right, so we've got this AEA. I already know this is a fun one. So we'll write it down. We've got the automation mode tool, so we're going to copy that one down. Clang D. Code C, CTL, and we're going to roll down this list. Oh, this one's a good one. Oh, heck yeah. I have a feeling we found a whole bunch. This is looking awesome. Oh, the shortcuts. It's for the new shortcuts app. All right, so we're going to copy this down. And then what we do is we go do a man page on all of these. Oh, man, we got some good ones. All right, so now we're going to do the last file. And that's with this one. We'll do and if. See what we got. Oh, what's this? Copy all three of those. 
that cleaned up a little bit. Come back here. All right. So let's scroll down. Okay, so we got one last one here. So now what we do, now that we basically gathered our list of all, all these new commands, what we can do is start doing a man on these things. These things. So copy that. Come over here. And just do a man on it. Doesn't have anything. See if it's got a help page. Mount to mount on. Okay, so let's see if there's any. I already know this one's kind of cool. So we do a man pit. Yeah, manipulate Apple encrypted archives is a new command. So this looks like a fun one to mess with. Definitely. Even has some examples down below. So that's pretty slick. That's a good one. Huh. This one might be a good one too. Automation mode tool. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of looking like I got a good amount to play with here. Hold on here. Oh. I'm going to mess with that later. That's interesting. So let's check out this one. Uh, interesting. All sorts of good stuff to find. But these are the new ones. You can go through the rest of the list, so it'll be kind of fun for yourself. You can just type these things in and try to figure out what they are and what they do. It's always kind of fun uh, digging in on the new Mac OS's and uh, seeing what Apple has kind of done from an engineering perspective and kind of digging in under the hood. All right, if you want to download and install Mac OS Monterey, here's a video to go check out. You guys have an amazing day. Take care.